guys, it's me, and I'm back with another plant with me. Excuse my voice, I am a little sick. This week, I'll be using the kit by Sweet Kawhi Designs, and here I'm just showing you everything that comes in the kit. Um, I really like this kit. It's the mermaid kit, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to use it this week or not because it was so pretty, and I did want to hoard it, but I decided to go ahead and use it anyway because the colors were kind of springy. Now I'm getting ready to put down my bottom washi and this week my bottom washi did give me a little bit of trouble. Well actually before that I'm showing you the pens I use because if you've ever used Sweet Kawhi Design um, kits you would know that you can't write on her paper with a regular pen. You have to use like a sharpie or a marker or a ballpoint pen. I shouldn't say regular pen, I should say gel pen and I always use the Enjoy Gel Pen because that's one of my favorite pens. So here I'm getting ready to put down the washi and this week it gave me a little bit of trouble because I couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do. I thought I wanted to push my washi all the way down to the bottom and then use this other washi that I had found from Target. But then that washi um, that I found at Target ended up being a little bit too thick so not sure um I didn't realize that at first so now that I'm realizing it as you'll see in this video I just decided to go against it and also um speaking of washi if you guys would be interested in me doing a washi collection video now I will admit I don't have as much washi as a lot of other people here on YouTube but I am starting to get quite a collection so if you guys would be interested in the Watch your video, give this video a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe so that you can see it when it does happen. Um, and once again, I just want to apologize for my voice because I know it sounds a little bit raspy. And I've been delaying um, doing the voiceover for this video because of that simple reason. I just, I think I have like a sinus infection or something that I just can't shake. But here is me trying to debate on whether or not I wanted to use the washi or not and I think this is when I decided that I wasn't going to use the washi and that I was just going to reposition my bottom washi to um just normally how I would have it and I kept moving this because um with this paper with her paper it is removable but you have to be careful because with the bigger stickers you can get bubbles and also you have to be extra careful as not to stretch the paper because it will stretch. So now I'm getting ready to put on my date dies and this kit, this theme was just really cute. Um, The week prior to this, if you go and look at my video, I didn't use date covers, which for that kit, it worked perfectly fine for me. But with Sweet Kawaii kits, um, it automatically comes with the date covers and I just like using her date covers because she doesn't put in a lot of like little things and stuff it's up to you to find those things so I think that the date covers are a nice touch to her kit as you all know she is one of my favorite shops and I just love 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 her papers I also just won a giveaway that she sponsored with her mystery box so thank you Tasia for that and um I'm excited to show you that item that I will be getting from her, the mystery box kit that I'll be getting from her in an upcoming haul. So yeah, a lot of exciting things coming to my channel. This week for me also isn't that much of a busy week. Um, the only major thing that happens is that I'm starting back school. I started back school this week on Monday and you'll see that I kind of am rearranging my plans around school now. I'm getting ready to put in the side flags and I just got this from a printable from myplannernv.com and they're just like little flags um, and I'm just cutting out the access because the flags that they're meant for, they're actually meant for like appointments and stuff like that but it works so I just used it there and I'm getting ready to do the same thing on the other side with the flags. I decided to use yellow because I felt like it wasn't a lot of yellow in this kit actually, but I could have used any color because I do have a lot of colors. And if you kind of hear my voice trail off a little bit, it's either because one, I'm going with horse, or two, I have my planner right here in front of me and I'm using it as a reference. So yeah.
now I think that I'm getting ready, just getting all my stuff ready to go in day by day. With her kids, it does kind of trip me up a little bit because I want to be kind of a white space planner. But with her kids, um, you're kind of, how can I put it? You have enough to be a white place planner, white space planner, excuse me. But you have to be very, 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 very careful because the spread can end up looking too empty or it can look incomplete, especially if you don't have like a lot of functional stuff to go in with it. But as you'll see for this kit, I did pull in a lot. Now here, I first started off with lining up my full box with the to-do header, which I thought, okay, that's cool. But then I remember, you know, that I wanted to do kind of like a white space so then I decided to pull it down a little bit so that I wouldn't have to use that second header in that header spot but I didn't like it and I removed it that time because it was a bubble in it but then as you can see I was just kind of like well it's a lot of white space right there and for a lot of people including myself that is a lot of white space like that space can definitely be used um I was just trying to feel my way around with this kit at first and try to figure out what was going on because Monday was the first day of school. I had a lot of to-dos that I needed to put down, a lot of reminders that I needed to put down, and I just really didn't know what my process was. I guess you could say I didn't think it through um, when I was planning it, but this time I decided to just go ahead and move that checklist all the way back up to the top and then go ahead and use the header to fill that space which I don't mind planning like this it's it's cool to plan like this now I'm putting in my full box but then I quickly remember that I wanted to do a header and just because um I'm very particular about where I put my full boxes like I like most of them to be like right by each other sometimes I'll stagger them like last week I kind of staggered them but I had like a little more leeway with the kit that I used last week so this one I'm kind of just also color blocking because I learned with her kids that she makes most of them to color block and if you don't color block at the end you may run into a problem using this really cute half box um with a little crab on the top I thought that was like really cute this kit is kind of like mermaidy beachy and I just wanted to go ahead and use it because I have um some more beachy kits for the more that we get into the summer months so yeah and I'm just doing a three little checklist um mostly I use her checklist for like my little things so for like tv shows that I'm watching and things of that nature then I'm using a once more with love sticker um because I have a credit card bill due on Monday so I just did that and I'm also using another once more with love sticker because I was supposed to upload this on Monday but like I said I was sick when I was filming this so I didn't get a chance to do the voiceover so of course the upload did not go up on Monday it is now Tuesday and I'm just doing the uh, voiceover so I don't even know like when this is going to actually upload I got that little exclamation sticker just out of my mom b365 books I thought it was just a nice little touch and you'll see in this video that I'm actually pulling in a lot of things um from other places that I said before just writing down my tv show my weekly tv shows and I've noticed that my week and my tv shows have gotten a lot lighter because a lot of my shows are going off here I was going to do a reminder sticker because I wanted to remind myself to make some phone calls about some follow-ups about some job interviews that I had. But that little reminder sticker just wasn't working right there for me. So, yeah. And if you hear me sniffling or I may even cough in this video, I do apologize once again. So, right there... I got this sticker from Michaels. It was just in like one of the recollections um packs. I think it was on sale and it was just icons and I figured that the pink went with the kit a little bit so I just used that phone because of course I would be calling for phones. So I'm moving on to Tuesday the 16th using purple which is one of my favorite colors but ironically not this shade of purple like this shade of purple is more like a lilac purple lavender purple and I like the deeper royal purples but still nonetheless it was really pretty and one thing I wanted to point out about her checklist here is I like when she does the checklist with like the little characters on the side because it gives your spread so much more character I know she was saying a lot of people kind of don't like them because they feel like it takes up room on the checklist to write but I actually like them so yeah then just putting down another 
header and Tuesday is going to be pretty much a blank day because I didn't have much but if you go over to my Instagram by the time I post my weekly spread which goes up on Wednesday you'll see that over the week I added a lot more things and also I know you guys are used to me um writing in my planner as I go but I switched it up a little bit this week and decided to write off camera so that my writing was a little bit neater now you will see me write on Wednesdays right go ahead and write Wednesdays in and that's simply because for most of Wednesday stickers I write with them like not on the paper because the coil gets in my way and right here I was having a little bit of trouble with the sticker for some reason it went wonky but I fixed it so yeah, so this is me just readjusting the to-do stickers. And you'll see me like readjusting a lot because I will, I will admit I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to putting down my stickers. I want to get them placed as neatly as possible so that when I go back and look at my spread, I'm fine. But still sometimes even after I filmed it or completed my spread, I'll find myself going in and fixing stickers here and there. So sometimes what you see on these videos may differ a little bit on Instagram, but not a lot. So this is one of those instances where I went ahead and wrote on the sticker. And yeah, I think um the next time I use a Sweet Kawaii Design sticker kit, I'm going to try to use a ballpoint pen just simply because, um I don't know, I, I like the Sharpies. Maybe I should try using a black Sharpie. Maybe that's what it is because I like the whole Sharpie thing, but some of the colors can seem to look a little dried out. And there I'm just using another... Um, half box with a little turtle on it and put it in my full box first and that little pink exclamation sticker came from the mommy 365 book and here I have some Erica G design stickers um they're like the little washing machines for laundry and I did get those they are oop stickers but it was still good quality and glossy I love glossy but she's no longer doing glossy stickers which is fine um, here I'm using a little once more with love cell phone because I do have a cell phone bill that is due on Wednesday and I just put that in there. I use a lot of functional stickers from once more with love in Erica G design so far. Um, I do need to up on my functional stickers so if you guys have any places where I can get great functional stickers from please leave those down below. Um, put a little trash can there because as I stated in all of my plan with me's on Wednesdays, I like to gather all of the trash and go ahead and put it, um, in the main trash can simply because my trash man, person, people, whoever comes so early on Thursday mornings. I think they come at like six o'clock. So yeah. Now I'm just putting down that little, um, half box, which I love these little half box with the characters on them as well. I think that for her spreads, they work, they add some character, and they add another dimension of the pop that you would want. And I'm also getting ready to put down, um, two little seashells, and that's just because my Wednesday night shows have gotten a little bit lighter now. I only have one show. So that completes the first half of the week, and I moved on to the second half of the week, which is Thursday through Sunday. And yeah, not a lot really was going on this week. Um, as you'll see, most of my checklists they're kind of light, but then I they're kind of heavy because it's just stuff I have to do for school. So yeah, just lining that up. And the header is going to go in. And the full box. And I really like these translucent full boxes because you'll see it gave me um like more planet room. Like I could actually use like different stickers in it. I didn't have to, um, how can I say? I didn't have to use strictly my checklist because I have a hard time using checklists because my handwriting is so big. And I also like to use as many icons as I can in my planner because to me, it just gives it a little more pop. It makes things stick out and it actually makes me like want to do what it says, if that makes sense. So, and just by watching this video, we have one more week left in like the may section i think yeah because the week after that it kind of goes into june and yeah time really does fly when you're planning because it's already time for me to think about what kid i want to use next weekend i don't know but we'll see <coughs> 
excuse me, that's one of those coffee moments that I warned y'all about. So here I'm just putting in another header. And this is Friday. And for this to be a Friday, I don't really have a lot to do. Like, I didn't put in, um, normally I would put in, like, a day night, a movie night, or something like that. But I didn't do that this week because, um, I don't know if we're going to actually, like, do those things. And last week, I put it in, and yeah, my spread looked really nice. But if we didn't do something, I kind of had to figure out, like, what to write there and put it in. So I just figured for now, I'll just since I am planning so far in advance. Well, to me, it's far in advance. Like, I film and plan on a Sunday night. So, to me, it's far in advance. But for, like, other people, they probably already have, like, all their plans done and stuff. But since for me, it's so far in advance, I don't have a lot to put down, which is why I do post the spreads on Instagram. So, head on over to my Instagram. Once again, Chelsea J Plans. It's the same as um my name on here. I just kind of like fill it in and update it with what I do. And I also like to keep it blank, especially in my to-do sections for school. Because if I don't finish something on one day, then I can just kind of like move it over to the next day if I have room. So yeah. So now we're getting ready to work on the weekend section. And the weekend section, um, you'll see here in a little bit, I still wanted to pull that pink, pinkish, purplish washi in from target for some reason i don't know i just really really liked it so i thought about using it to like lay down my weekend banner like you'll see i put in my weekend banner at first and then i keep going but then like the more i was into the spread the more that i realized that it was a little bit empty but i'll fix it now here I don't know what I was thinking. I forgot to do a, a to-do list. That's what it was. And I went ahead and put out a full box. Now, here you'll see that I'm not lining my full boxes up and that it's, like, not a problem for me. Um, That goes back to, like I was saying, on how it just depends. So, now I'm putting down my checklist because I may have some things to do on Saturday or we may do something on Saturday that I want to, like, put down. And then I put down my full box at the bottom. Which, I don't have a problem. Like, I like doing it like that. But it just has to be something in that white space for me. And in this case, it was the weekend banner. So, I did a reminder there because I had a TV show. And that sticker is so crooked. And I think that I went back later on and I fixed it up. And then here, I just went ahead and put down another checklist. That was crooked. And I lifted it up and decided that I wanted to fix it. So, I did that. I move stickers around so much in these videos. I don't see how y'all put up with me. And so, yeah. But, really excited. Um, putting the header now. So, if you can see, I'm kind of getting more in the groove and getting more comfortable with the placement of my stickers and stuff. And a full box. And this green was, like, really pretty. And it's, like, just sticking out to me, like, now that I'm, like, watching it play back. It was really, really pretty. And so, I'm using a, another Erica G Designs washing machine because I have to do laundry. I have to go grocery shopping. And she didn't have, like, a cleaning sticker or anything. So, I just used um, another little exclamation mark out of my mommy book. And y'all may hear some background noise. If you do, it's just a truck that's riding through my neighborhood. And I'm right by the window that is going by. So, it seems, like, a little loud. Even to me. Yeah, see here I was kind of like wanting to use a don't forget. Because when I get these kits, I want to use as much of the kit as possible. Sometimes it's not always possible for me too, which is why I have to pull in different things. But I try to use as much of the kit as possible because I want to get, I guess, my money's worth. And I actually want to like showcase the kit because you, you all may not know everything that comes in the kit. <clears throat> and I decided to write with pink here. Which seemed to be a pattern when I was writing with like the blues and the, that's like a sea foam and green right there. So here is where I peeled up my weekend banner because it just popped in my head that I wanted to use the washi. And also this is the point where my husband came in because I filmed this on Saturday and not Sunday. He came in and was like, do you see what time it is? Our show's about to come on. So then I tried to like rush it and put that down and 
oh, this part was just like an absolute mess. And then I tried to use like my little knife here, but it cut, but it didn't cut like good enough. And I think that this washi is just like, um, it's a different type of washi. Like it's super thick when you feel it. It's thicker than other washies. And so then my line didn't come out straight and I was just like, at this point I was over it so I was just like let's peel it up and then I tried to readjust it and then everything I was trying to do because at this point I'm now like frantically rushing because I had four minutes before my show came on I just was like you know what bump it I'm out of frame here a little bit and I'm I don't know to be honest I might be out of frame for the rest of the video because this is how much I was seriously rushing to go watch my show I just put my weekend banner back down and I zoom y'all out and now it's time to do my sidebar and I still have like three minutes so I'm like super rushing so everything might be cricky be a mermaid and make waves that was a cute little full box that went down straight how I line up my full boxes on the side is I always line it up with the bottom of like that little flag that's right there especially for like May because it kind of comes down a little bit. The YMA comes down a little bit. So, yeah. Now I'm just doing um my sidebar. I don't know if y'all can even see it. But I'm putting down habit trackers. Then I'm going to put down a top three list. Then I'm going to put down a workout list. Okay, so I realized you guys weren't in focus. I mean, in frame. And I tried to use headers because I wanted to break it up and make it not look so monotone. But also, I wanted to use everything that was in the kit. And then I think I get and I realize everything is not going to fit. Because I like using everything on her sidebar for some, like, reason. The items that she gives with her sidebar. Because she gives some, like, really good ones and a lot of them pertain. So, here I'm just lifting up those headers and then I just slide my habit trackers back up which for this week I use um for no spin and dishes no spin because I don't need to be spending any money and dishes because I don't know it just makes me feel better at night when I can go to sleep my kitchen is clean my dishes are loaded into the dishwasher or I've hand washed them and then I can wake up in the morning and if I decide to cook breakfast or anything I just can go and I also found a way to use um the week list. Like, I don't know if I if you guys watched my haul or not, but I was explaining that I didn't know how I was gonna use them. But I just track my meals and which is why I'm putting down like a little um fork and knife that she gives with the kit. I just started tracking my meals and writing down like what I ate. I don't really know why I like doing that. I just like doing it. And so there I'm zooming out and boom. Okay, now I'm back and this is with everything filled in, decoration added, um, all that good stuff. And I'm just showing you what's left over from the kit. So this week was really interesting. Bye and I'll see you guys next week.